All right. Good morning, everybody. And believe it or not, it's the last day of the year. I'm not exactly unhappy that maybe we're going to get something better, but very hopeful. But for the last day, I have the most interesting guest. Well, who just lost her phone. There it is. And her name is Terry Mays, and she does a product called Hacienda Mays. It's not a restaurant. You don't have to worry whether you want to go out or not, but it is incredible. And she's going to tell us all about it. Terry, welcome to the show. Thank you, Pat. Sorry for that last minute uh, little that, that, bump. It happens. This is Zoom. This is not, you know, this is NTVs have problems too. All right. You have a problem. A problem. You have a problem called Hacienda Maze. I have one right there. Excellent. Tell me about it. Um, well, we are very uh, conscientious about being an all natural product. We unlike others, focus on the chili. Well, and explain what Hacienda Maize, explain what it is. Okay, uh, we make three of the award-winning world's best chili pepper jams. Okay. All right. And we get all of our chilies from Pueblo, Colorado, from Muso Farms. And then we season to complement the chili. So we have the uh, Mirasol chili, which is also known as Pueblo chili. And that one we complement with lime and cilantro. And that uh, leads me to the point that these are awesome to cook with, right? They're what? Fun to cook with? Awesome. Oh, and fun. Oh, okay. Of course. <laughs> So um, anyway, we have the Pueblo with lime and cilantro. We have the young jalapeno with ginger and cumin. And we have the ripe jalapeno with cinnamon and cardamom. So each lends itself to um, wonderful cuisines around the world. Okay, first and, uh, of all, how did you ever start? How did you get into, you've been doing it for how long? Uh, well, I've been making the jelly for decades. Um, my first taste of it was in Germany, and a friend of mine from Louisiana, his family had sent over chili pepper jam. They call it red pepper jelly. And in the South, it tends to be more sweet and with bell peppers. So... Um, over time, we have focused more and more on the chili and can claim that we are the only one to do so. Okay. Because you'll often see like habanero or raspberry jalapeno, those kinds of things, and you see them all over the country. We focus on the chili. Oh, no. Do you have, I, my, this one is an open, I could get one that is. Do you have an open one? Right uh, there. Don't, don't leave it. Please don't drop the phone. Let you me see. Have, never mind. No, just stay with it. I thought you had it right there. Okay. So people can see, I don't know whether they can see. It looks like just jelly, you know, a clear jelly that has now that I've opened the last one, uh, has tons and tons of flavor. So the idea, aside from eating it just with a spoon, like I often do, you use this for many different things. Yes. And it is all natural. I assume it's gluten-free. Yes. Is it vegan too, I assume? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's nice to know. All right, now, tell, I've had many things, but tell me a few of the things that you do with the jelly. Well, um, I create 
recipes from appetizers to desserts. And those are all available on your webpage, right? Yes. Which is name? HacienDeMaze.com. Okay, it's Hacienda, M-A-I-Z-E.com. And I have a list of recipes right here because you have given me some of the samples. So what you can do is you can eat it on cheese or something like that, which is something everyone knows. Yes. But your cookies are unbelievable. <laughs> Thank Tell you. Tell us about some of those or some of those things. Well, um, uh, our favorite cookie is a recipe that we got from Better Homes and Gardens. And it was designed for um, the traditional red pepper jelly from the South, right? Um, but what appeals to us so much, in addition to the flavor, is um, that corn and chilies grow up together, right? So they complement each other in just an incredible, tasty way. Well, the one I had was just like a pound. I mean, it was a butter cookie with you punch it down and you put the jelly and then you had peanut butter and chocolate with that. Mm -hmm. And one kick at the end was phenomenal. It has a lingering uh, right. tingle. Oh, say. it was so good. And I saw a recipe for vinaigrette, which I can hardly wait to try. Can you put that on salads and things? Oh, of course. Uh, you'll find a fantastic salad um, wow. featuring spinach and all kinds of oh, great yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. on the website. Uh, and it's a pepper jelly vinaigrette. And then it tells you about pecans, which you also can just coat pecans in it, which was marvelous. Right. And right. I, yeah, go ahead. Um, so when it, we have many easy, easy things to do with the jelly. Um, it does the heavy lifting in recipes, right? So most of our recipes have five ingredients, fewer than 10 for sure. Oh, no, it's stuff I could cook. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, if, for somebody who doesn't want to dirty anything. I mean, I saw salmon, I saw pork, I saw lamb chops, anything you want to just dress up. You can look like a real cook. Oh, yeah. Anything on the grill, on a sheet pan in the oven, drizzle jam and jelly on it. And, and, and do we have to wear your earrings? Say again? Do I have to wear your earrings while doing it? No, well, you know, they I don't have any. corn and they look like chilies. Well, it looks fabulous. So <laughs> tell me something. You've, it, you've been doing it for years, your company. Yes. But where does one get the Hacienda Maize jellies? the three different flavors. Right. Well, at this point, we have a number of retailers around the Denver area, and they tend to be specialty shops of one kind or another. So there's a gift shop in Belmar called A Touch of Colorado. Okay. And we're at Sam's Meat Market, which is the most glamorous butcher shop you will see. Where is that? That's in Aurora. Oh, I live okay. All right. And what about Denver? Well, I am excited to say that we just um, collaborated with City Floral. City Floral? You're breaking up a bit. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I don't Go ahead. Have... City Floral? <laughs> yeah. And they have a history in Denver that's just incredible. The uh, man who initially set up the floral uh, greenhouse, yeah. yeah, right at the beginning of last century, used to ride his bike down the dirt road that was Colfax to deliver <laughs> to the Brown Palace. 
Well, I do know that they carry Nebraska pies frozen, which are really good too. I didn't realize they had such an extensive amount of groceries. Well, they uh, non perish okay. you know, No, I know. Yeah. Okay. And it just terrific gifts. And when you walk in, there's this bouquet of aroma that oh, wow. will thrill you. Okay. If I went to your website, may I order it through there? Yes, you can. Okay. And if you can uh, permit me to do a little self promo, I hope so. That's why you're here. <laughs> This is our gift bag, everybody. Oh, I'll have one, please. <laughs> okay, I'm happy to provide it. So it's oh, that's fabulous. I did get one, I must admit, but I also must admit that they're gone except for that one. I've gone through them very quickly. So I'll take another, but you, so I can order that on your website. You can. Okay. And you mail them out or you deliver them? You Depends. mail them. Yeah. Well, okay. But <laughs> uh, so there, uh, I mean, it's a perfect even, let's say Christmas is over, but New Year's is still here. You could get one in time if you wanted one from City Flower Floral or the Meat Sam's or something like that. Well, if you're local, I'm very willing to work with you if you have an immediate need. Of okay. Quantity, right? Yeah. Well, that's great. And, but they're just as good the day after New Year's, or I mean, they stay well once they're open as well. For years. Yeah. yeah. Well, but my mama, who is a big part of this for a family business, says they last only long as you allow them to. On uh, my house, they don't seem to last very long. <laughs> and I am one of one. So, I mean, I just go through them like mad. You know, I need a cracker. I need a piece of cheese. I put them, I told you, on sweet potatoes the other night. And they were incredible. Yes, and I advise adding a little peanut butter to that. Well, we might have to try it, but it has to be almond butter because I don't have peanut butter. But uh -huh. whatever. Anyway, but they are available all year round. Yes, they are. Okay. Well, I just hope they're in every store very soon. So it's always fun, but you are most willing through your website to share, right? Oh, All yes. the recipes and things like that. Yes, absolutely. And then um, we have had a number of restaurateurs using our jams. Oh, great. Uh, changed with COVID, of course. And um, so right now you can find us at Appaloosa Grill, two places on the menu. One is baked goat cheese with lavash. Perfect. And jam and jelly. And then the other is a tempura fried avocado. They call it borracho. Oh, wow. Oh, does and, that sound good? Oh, yeah. yeah. And that is, um, uh, that was created by Chef Francisco Quintana, who used to be with Bucky Strike and Appaloosa. And now he's doing his own restaurant ventures. Um, and yeah, uh, he's participating in some of these chef pop-ups at hospitals. Are you aware of those? No. Yeah. So Swedish, for example, they have a different chef pop-up every day. And so I teased him, about, well, what about calling yourself the Swedish chef? Right. <laughs> I believe, I'll tell you who else does them, he might be in touch with, because I believe the same cafe, S-A-M-E, on East Colfax does that. So, you know, it's another place. Actually, you go in and pay what you want there. Oh, yes. And, and they had, uh, Jeff Osaka was there and people like that. So that would be a great spot. Maybe you can go in and cook. 
Uh, you know, well, I don't have um, the current day credentials, but I'll tell you, my cooking career started very young at my grandmother's knee. And then on a semi-professional level, I cooked at a ski lodge in Winter Park. How good. And I was cook on a towboat in Texas. Well, so you got a better reputation than I do. And you have fabulous recipes. And possibly, Hossie, tell them us again, Hacienda Maze, three different flavors. Mm-hmm. Have you Go ahead. Mirasol with lime and cilantro. So that is awesome with salads and seafoods. And I call it my mojito. And then moving on to the margarita is the <laughs> jalapeno, the young guy. He's pretty brash. And that we complement with ginger and cumin. And then the ripe jalapeno is a lush bread. Like a good man, he gets and more complex time. And that one we complement with cinnamon and cardamom. Oh, my. And it's only 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm starving, thanks to you. <laughs> All right, now tell us your website because you don't have a phone number or an address. You have the places in a website. Um, the website is www.hacienda.com. And I'm on sometimes Instagram and Twitter as well. Well, do, you, uh, do you, if you check them, then say you're on them. Yeah. Oh, I okay. Hear occasionally. <laughs> okay. Go to her website to be sure. How's that? <laughs> and actually, for everybody who's listening, they can go to YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for real. It's not occasionally. But <laughs> as soon as we hang up, uh, I will get it up on all three, and I hope everybody will like and subscribe to our YouTube so that you can catch all the great shows. But this is such a perfect way to end the new year. A lovely, lovely lady with a fabulous product and so many things that if we decide to start staying home again, or we are, a flood of fabulous recipes, too. For a year round. Right. And I appreciate your pointing that out, Pat. Right. People, Anytime. And I think pantry arsenal, that is your secret ingredient that you use in everything. Well, I have one to go. That won't last too long. But in the meantime, I adore them. You are fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. And let's say Happy New Year to all of the people who are watching this. And if you want to have a New Year's resolution, start with getting a jar or seven of Hacienda Maze because jam and jelly, it's just a treat on everything from breakfast, lunch, dinner, and lots of snacks in between. Have a wonderful year, I hope. Happy 2022. I hope it's great for everybody and we get rid of all the bad and good is here. Yes. Much love. Thank you. Have a great day, sweetie. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.